There we go. All right. So let's do three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Everything. Now I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And Jody. There you go. All right. So I am the master. IAC is there, and then you should be able to put yours down there. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking how to set up a force field system. So I'm going to run you guys basically through the force field and the introduction system complete right now. Um, to, base, uh, to set up a basic force field system, you need the force field projector. Then you need uh, coercion drivers. Um, and Fortron capacitors help. That's these right here. Uh, basically, these right here will store Fortron for you. Uh, they can hold, as you can see, these can hold up to 700 kilojoules. These can only hold, I believe, I believe it's like 30 kilojoules, or something along those lines. So you're going to want probably at least some capacitors. Uh, but coercion drivers, we have a ton here. You don't need this many for, for a setup. Uh, to give you guys an idea, we come back to our base here. Uh, you can see we have drastically less than that. Well... We have about that, I guess, and our force field is is huge. I mean, we have a force field that's out 64 by 64. So that's a, that's a pretty big area. And I'm not going to tell you how far out our, um, what do you call it? Uh, I'm not going to tell you how far out our biometric matrix is. Um, network, Minecraft, Stasis, and both. Well, not to get part of Stasis. That's brilliant. <laughs> servers <clears throat> all right so um once you've got this set up you need to be very careful with this these two machines right here you have the interdiction matrix and you have the biometrics uh, basically the biometrics is what tells your force field who owns the system basically so right here for instance uh, if you put your card up here you're going to notice you have allow the player to go through and bypass force fields Block Alter, that allows the player to place and break blocks. Block Access, allows the player to interact and open GUIs, i.e. machines. Uh, allow the player to configure the biometric identifier. If this is not enabled, they can't touch this machine and they can't make their own cards. Uh, defense, allows the player to bypass the interdiction matrix. If they do not have this and you turn the death machine on, it will kill them instantly. Uh, bypass Confiscation, that means if they are killed, their items won't be collected. So basically, uh, if you do what uh, Zero Grab just did, you get wrecked. Remote control allows the player to use remote control to change the stuff inside the region. So you need to make sure that you either are all down here or one is in the master and other people are here. Make sure everybody has those rights. <laughs> then you want to turn this machine to whatever number you're going to use. So for just for example, uh, well, we're going to leave this because I don't want to turn it on right now. But... Uh, that being said, you, you set this to 1, 500, 20,000, 32, 47, 96, whatever. Um, that's fine. For the introduction matrix, do not turn this on until that thing is set up and linked to this one. This needs to be linked to this. And you are going to have to redo your cards when you set this. So right now, these cards are set for zero. So if I change this to 356 and I don't move these, we're going to fucking die again. So you want to undo them once you change the number and then redo them. And that will change this to 356, even though it doesn't show. And then you want to set this to 356 and then you can turn it on. If you don't do that step, it will kill you. Also, thing to point out, you have warnings and you have action. Warning is the range with which the people who approach your base will be told, hey, something bad's here. Action is how far from this box something will happen. So can't break blocks, can't place blocks, can't open machines, die instantaneously. Uh, monsters die instantaneously, um, whatever. So make sure that this is far enough. One thing, a note of warning to basically everyone on the server, chunks load. I don't know what the chunk loads range is. I don't know how many chunks around you loads. Uh, do you know by it's chance? It's 10. It's 10 chunks? 10, approximately. So that's uh, two chunks in each direction, roughly? More than two chunks in each direction. Ten chunks in each direction can load. Mm, no, it's not, because no, we it's have not. to use someone... It's definitely not ten chunks. ...to chunk load the... Um... 
either way it's it it's somewhere around 50 blocks give or take so um what that basically means is let's say i set this for 100 okay so if i set this for 100 my base is 100 blocks away from the kill radius well if you are say 200 blocks from me there is a range between this machine and you that is unloaded as you approach my base those blocks load if my base is unloaded then like there's no one at my base then the interdiction matrix isn't on so i mean it's technically on but the game says the chunks unloaded so the matrix <clears throat> is off which means it's there but it's not taking effect so let's say you're 200 blocks and you're approaching my base and let's say for just guesstimates that 50 blocks is when the machine turns on so at 100 blocks, you're now in the kill radius of the interdiction matrix. But because my chunk isn't loaded, you don't know that. You were never warned and you're not being killed. As you continue to move, you're at 75. Now you're getting closer to the matrix, but the matrix still doesn't turn on. Then you hit 50. Matrix loads, you instantly die. No warning. So be careful. You won't always get a warning because I found that out the hard way. Yes, um, we got chain killed by Wacko Bear that way, because his base was far his his bubble was far enough out that his base wasn't loading, and once we loaded it, we insta died with no warning. I believe the server distance is in fact five. Okay. Five low chunks. Low so chunks. five times sixteen is fifty. That's eighty blocks. So if it's beyond eighty blocks, you will not get a warning, and you will insta die. Uh, FYI, my base at home is beyond 80 blocks. Uh, most people are going to have there somewhere between 100 and 256. So keep that in mind. You will not get a warning most of the time. Also, if you're in power armor, even if you get a warning, you're going to get a three block warning. If you're in power armor, you're moving like this. You're never going <laughs> to notice that warning in time to stop. So be very careful. Um, if you're going to be running around around the server at high speeds i recommend running around at about 250 in height uh that ought to keep you from getting insta killed maybe unless somebody's a real dick now if you want to throw a shit ton of power into it i don't know what the actual cap is on the biometric it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 256 blocks 128 150 somewhere around there so it's uh it's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy so be careful so some of the things that you need to know um fortron right here the stuff that is, is stored in here the stuff that these things make is not affected by emps so if i have a big enough capacitor system or a big enough coercion driver system we can have enough stored so that if you hit us it drains all power from our base 100 percent. so our base is now drained but charlie kicks back on possibly most likely he's still running so now the power's coming back in. Now, obviously, these are all no longer receiving power, but they have enough Fortron to keep this stuff running. So if you EMP, you're going to turn the force field off, but the death ray is still going to be on. So you have to kind of chain EMP over time to slowly wear down their Fortron, and then eventually they will run out. Uh, especially with uh, Charlie. Charlie needs 50,000 energy just to start. So if you hit us with an EMP, Charlie will run while he's active but unless charlie recharges that cube 50,000 energy he will stop once the once that cycle of fuel is over so if you can keep emping a base you can actually shut down a charlie um fission reactors though you you can't stop those although a fission reactor is not going to be enough to run this fast enough um hydros if somebody's got a shit ton of hydros they can probably keep it going um in those instances, if you can't get past somebody set up, what you want to do is you want to EMP them and immediately nuke them. If you do that, it will break. Um, now, you may not do enough damage because nukes don't really do a whole lot to um, to uh, blast. I mean, they do, but it's it's not insane. So keep keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So bases that are well set up and well maintained are very hard to crack. Uh, the good news is. Very few people on the server will have a completely good base like this because we we hit them fairly regularly, um, as, as do other people. So once you get to a size like this, you are a pretty big target. Once people start dying to your thing, you get located. People start pounding you, and it gets pretty nasty. It gets also if uh, your name nasty. is uh, Minecraft Pie, just cry. Yeah, because we just, just 
<laughs> we, we, we seem to bump into Minecraft by whether we want to raid him or not, so... I do feel pretty bad for him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty terrible. It's, it's pretty terrible. I, I kind of feel bad.